And it's clear at this point we were sold a bill of goods. Do you agree with that? With, with deep respect, I do not agree with that. 800,000 incorrect forms. Is that acceptable? Um, Congressman, uh, having one incorrect form is not acceptable. But, uh, well, there's a big difference between having one and having over 800,000. I understand that. Now, if that happened, might some illegals be getting benefits under the Affordable Care Act today? And you should be able to assure the American citizens that that's not happening and you won't do it. What I can assure the, what I can assure the American people is the same assurance I give you and the rest of the committee, which is the discipline of the process for validating eligibility. I can relax now. Anyway, somehow I don't think the Ohio Republican Congressman Jim Jordan got the answers he wanted. If he got any answers at all. Congressman, very good to have you. Good to be with you, Neil. Uh, I almost felt sorry for this guy, but the bottom line was you didn't get a lot of answers from this guy, did you? I don't know if we got any answers from him. And it, when you can't give the issue, remember, Neil, what we learned just two weeks ago that illegal non-citizens are going to be eligible to go back three years and claim a tax refund and the earned income tax credit. So we know illegal non-citizens are going to get tax benefits. We know they're going to have conferred on them Social Security cards. Now we can't even be assured that they're not going to be eligible for Obamacare and taxpayers are going to have to pay for that as well. And so this, yeah, that Mr. Cunahan, he didn't, he didn't give us any answers today, which is, uh, you know, kind of par for the course for this administration. All right, the bottom line is we gave these 800,000 folks, who a lot of them filed their tax returns, bum yep. information, and the IRS essentially said, no problem, we'll process the returns, you don't have to reprocess, if you had a refund coming, you're going to get it. What yeah. if everyone were given that sort of uh, break right. here, especially conservatives who were targeted by that same agency not too long ago, but I digress. Let me yeah. ask you now about what role, if any, the IRS would have uh, when it comes to the health care law here, because it is essentially shepherding the process. It's, it's, it's the IRS's responsibility. Yeah, it sure is. And, and as you said, Neil, to, to say to the 50,000 who've already filed their returns that even though you got a refund you weren't entitled to, uh, to that's going to be just fine. How is that fair to other taxpayers? And then the point I was trying to get at, because we're having a per pretty important debate here in Congress this week, the point I was trying to get out, now are illegals going to have those same kind of benefits conferred on them potentially? And Mr. Cunahan did not answer the question. Well, technically they are, right? The administration yes, has yes. fairly well telegraphed that. And, and in fact, it had very threatening language to border agents who do not, you know, get on the stick and follow the president's executive order, even though that was at least shot down by one judge. That aside, do you think here that the, the president here has laid the groundwork for, for just that? In other words, illegals who are not illegals, they're just aspiring Americans, I guess, uh, are going to get this treatment and are going to be allowed not only uh, to get refunds, but to get refunds dating back years. Yes. John Koskin, the head of the IRS, confirmed that from questioning from a colleague of mine, Mr. Mulvaney, two weeks ago. They will, in fact, be able to, if they file a return this year, go back three years and collect a refund. Now, think about that. While the president's threatening to not uh, while the Democrats are threatening not to fund DHS the way we think it should, consistent with the federal judge's ruling last week, while that's going on, you're going to have non-citizen illegals going back three years to get a tax refund, while we're potentially not going to pay border agents who are doing their job because of the Democrats' but position But it's even worse than that. And you, you, you astutely brought this up in the hearing. I'm glad you did that. It is not a leap at all, then. To say if you're right. going to give folks refunds, if you're going to recognize their work here in this country for the last few years, illegal or not, then it is not a big jump to say, all right, well, the health benefits as well will come your way. Particularly in light of the chaos that's been over there at CMS and in the IRS relative to this entire law. I mean, remember, they just sent out 800,000 forms to people that were inaccurate, and 50,000 have already filed their returns. Almost 10% of the total people enrolled got the inaccurate information. So to, for this guy to say, oh, but I can assure you our processes are in place that no illegal non-citizen is going to be able to sign up for Obamacare and get these benefits we're talking about, that doesn't give us a whole lot of confidence, which I think was your first point in this segment. You know, you, the, the hearing you had... Uh
speak with, with those who had a flip side problem with illegals. In fact, those yeah. who, who should have stayed in jail and, in fact, got out and killed people um, yep. resonate with a lot of folks. Yet they, they don't get the attention. I'm glad you're hearing feature them, including this dad whose testimony yeah. was, was gripping. We had him here ourselves. But sure. what reaction, if any, have you heard from the administration on that? you got to watch this. you got to police this. Uh, because we're, we're, we're now, I think, threatening where the president is that if you don't abide by his executive order, um, he's going to be watching you. So now if I'm a border agent, even looking at someone with a record and a, and a rap sheet, I, I might be uh, very cautious about sending them back. Yeah, that attitude from the president, that attitude that you just described from the Senate Democrats, in light of the fact that the only court to rule on this two weeks ago, or excuse me, one week ago, found it to be unlawful. So that's, that's what just boggles my mind, and frankly, I think boggles the mind of so many Americans. How can you insist upon this action being carried through and not funding the Department of Homeland Security when you have a federal judge who has said what you did was wrong? Th that's the part that just blows your mind, particularly when you think about all the unfair things we've highlighted over the last few weeks in the hearings we've held. Congressman, thank you very much. Thank Good you, seeing Neil. you again.